Let's unbox more of the worst, highest rated mystery boxes. Yes, Bubbly Loons has received a four star review from hundreds of people, but this is probably, in my opinion, one of the worst mystery boxes out there. In a previous video, I had such high expectations of these mystery boxes, but when we unboxed them, we found that they were messy, they didn't work as they should. If you want to watch the whole video of that, I will link it down below. And so today we have a completely different series. The first one, that we unboxed was a beads mystery box. This one is called Confetti. So I'm curious if this is going to be absolute. Trace. So as you can see, this does have 4.4 stars with over 400 ratings. That means this product should be phenomenal. And look at that. For some reason, it's actually on sale. Why? Why is this on sale now? Original price is $9.99, but it seems to be on sale for $6.99. But alas, I had to buy it from Canada, which means I paid $14.97. So yes, we have 13 mystery boxes at around $15. So kitty editor, take out your little calculator. You're so adorable. Look at you. You're so cute. Yes, you're so cute. Take the compliment. Take it. Which means for 13 of them at $15, I paid close to $200 for this batch. And yes, we're going to unbox all of them. And the concept of this figurine, as you can see here, is you get a mystery box with a mystery character and they can blow balloons with their mouths. And this line is darn cute, I have to say. And oh no, oh please no, oh no, please. Please do not make it so that confetti pops out of the bag. I don't want that. I don't want this mess. It took me forever to clean up. The characters themselves are super colorful, so I'm really excited to check them out. And then we can use the confetti to cover the balloons, but they do fall off, so that's a whole other mess in itself. So I'm curious to see the actual experience of this one versus the first one. And there's a video. All right, video, what are you? No! Hang on, hang on, we're pausing. This is a really short video. It caught me off guard. There was just so much music going on. Okay, let's start step by step. Wait, they blow confetti balloons? Is the confetti on the inside? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So it says that they blow confetti balloons, which means that the confetti is on the inside of the balloons, right? If that's the case, that's going to be really cute. So let's hope that's actually what's going to happen. Yeah, it looks like the confetti is on the inside. Oh, look, an animation. And they can bop, 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 bop balloons. <laughs> There's so much going on. I have to say I'm really worried though about this scene right here. Let's replay that. Where we actually see confetti pop popping straight out of the packaging. If that's the case, it's fun if you do it once, but if we're doing it so many times, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm a little worried. <laughs> I find it really interesting that the front of the box says 12 plus to collect when there's literally 13 to collect. Why are people scared to say the number? Just say it. Trust. Do it! There's 13 of them to actually collect. And here they are on the screen. Let me know which one are you the most excited for us to get today. And let me know if we got it by the end of the video. I'm going to say I'm pretty excited about the kitty cat named Stella. And I'm guessing the dinosaur whose name is Rex. So I'm hoping for these two. The one I'm least interested about is Zoe the monkey. Not a fan of monkeys, just saying. So let me know in the comment section below which ones are you excited that we're gonna get. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there. I'll make you a grain of salt in the Salt Shaker family. Now you're part of us. You gotta be salty. Not on me though. Actually, on me you could be salty. Do whatever you want. This is a perfect time to remind you, Grains and YouTube, that my videos are product reviews for people with purchasing power, not for little ones. My content never was and never will be for kids. If you, Grains, haven't picked up your very own Creatures of Darkness coloring book that was made by me, Muse Kids, and Sarah Rose, they are still available for grabs. In this kit, you're going to be getting 22 gorgeous illustrations of my sculptures with a Disney villain-esque type feel to them, as you can see on the screen. 16 saturated, vibrant watercolor papers by Viviva. And these are an exclusive palette chosen for this kit. 12 buttery, smooth, and pigmented colored pencils. A Creatures of Darkness washi tape that has a rainbow array of the creatures with a dark background. And water brushes to make your water coloring more convenient. This kit is made with beginners in mind since I am also a beginner when it comes to watercolors. But I had so much fun coloring with watercolors when I played with it last time, so I figured why not share the fun? And we have three different price points. If you want to get the bundle, it is $39.99. The digital copy is $22.99, but if you want both the digital and the kit, they are $49.99. So you're getting a $75 value in that price tag. Again, I'll leave the link down below. And I have to say, I absolutely love browsing the submissions that you greens have been sending me of your own coloring interpretation of these pages. 
And again, huge thank you to everyone for the amazing support around this project. Oh yes, in case you did notice, we have our salt shaker, which is red today, because I am absolutely salty and just a little, 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 little this much pessimistic about how we're gonna feel about this. Hopefully we're wrong. Hopefully confetti's on the inside. All right, so let's go ahead and move everything to the side. And since I can't choose them, I don't know. Oh my goodness, this, this, this is quite a bit. I got, I got, I got you, I got you. There, put one over there. We're hoping we're not gonna get too many doubles or triples on this unboxing. But in case the video was wrong, this one here does say confetti bubbles. So let's see what we get inside. Oh, we have an area where we can open it. Let's do it. Come on, there. No, come on. Why do these things never open properly? Come on, yes. Not too bad, but we did miss a little bit. And over here. This is just not opening the way it should be. Okay, what does it say? I don't want to open the cover just yet because confetti is already all over my desk. It's spread all over my fingers. But okay, let's check out what's this guide saying. Step one, open the cupcake. Step two, watch out for the mess. It's gonna get so messy. How is this fun? I know that many of you look to get things for your little ones in your life, but if this is going to be more of a, look at this. Oh my God, like I haven't done anything yet. And then step four, go ahead and, well three, take out the stuff and uh, that's it, unbox it. Where's the blowing balloon part? What is this? All right, since I don't know what's going to happen, I'm going to go ahead and open this. Oh. What? Oh, the confetti's up there. So you're supposed to lift it and the confetti falls everywhere. Okay, I think we should do it properly. Okay, we're gonna do it the way it's intended. All right, so let's go ahead and do it a proper, there you go. Is that it? Was that it? Let's, let's see it in slow motion. Go ahead and do it a proper, there you go. Okay, so here is all the confetti, which fine, Sure, we'll, we'll go with it. And who do we have here? We have a cute little deer character. No, fox character. What, it comes on a stand? Okay, that's cute. I really love the design of this character, super colorful. And I didn't show last time, but the legs do move. So they're a little bit poseable, they can sit down. This is really cute. The figurines are really cute. And the way that it's going to blow the balloon is if we squeeze, you can hear it? The side of the head. There you go. She is so cute. Little puffy tail. Wait, is that, that's not a fox. What are you? <laughs> Ambiguous character. And I'm, oh my goodness. Everywhere's confetti. Okay, and in here, I'm guessing we're going to get, okay, the unboxing experience is still as bad as the previous one. There's nothing here to open it. No little slits. So we really do have to take out our scissors. Like so. And what's in here? Oh, accessories. Is that a jetpack? What is that? I don't know. Does anyone know what this is? <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? I feel like this is a jetpack or maybe a scuba gear. And then here we have, I'm not sure. I think this is decoration for like happy birthday. I don't think it's a skirt. Okay, this is really confusing. This is exactly what happened in the previous one. It was just really confusing accessories. Let's check out here. We have the balloons. What? There's actual confetti in these ones, but not the others. Okay, we're gonna check out the balloons. They give us different colors. And here we have another mystery bag. And then we have the character sheet and more confetti. All right, and here we have, what are you? Okay, here we have the ex- what the shrimp? Is that an ice cream? What are you? Is that- Is that a fidget toy? I don't know- <coughs> I don't know what's going on. I seriously don't know what's going on. What's this? What am I supposed to do with it? And here we have the accessory to actually blow the balloon up. Also another balloon blowing accessory. And then here's a rod that can hold on to the balloons. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think I finally understand what these little decorations are for, at least one of them. And that you can decorate your cupcake top like this. The only scene I was able to find this out was in the video. You can see this image over here. So I freeze framed it and I've circled it up. It looks like we can put items on top of the cupcake. I still don't know what this is for. Like no clue, no idea. And none of the commercials or images do they show what the, you can use these for, but you can put the cotton candy thing up here kind of thing. <laughs> So weird. This is probably one of the most useless accessories I've seen. I'm not going to be surprised at any point if there is glitter or confetti on my face. If it is on my face and it's there post editing, it is what it is, I can't change it. But I think I'm really excited to test out these little confettis on the inside of the balloons. So let's go ahead and put the balloon on the arrow tip, like so. 
voila. And we're going to put this end in the characters. Why is everything a struggle? There we go. So let's go ahead and press. Come on. No. Oh, there we go. That was painful. <laughs> what? There we go. <laughs> My gosh, why was this so difficult? And the confetti is on the inside. That's cool. Let's, come on, I'm pulling you out. Come on. Everything's a struggle with this figurine. And here it is on the inside. This is adorable. I like this idea way more than the previous one that we unboxed where the beads were on the outside, which is absolutely useless. You know what? So far, this is way better than the first one. There's still questionable items, but here we go. But keep in mind, they only give you two balloons with confetti, the one that we just blew up and the other one over here. The rest are very plain. And in case you're curious, let me go ahead and do a plain one. Oh my gosh, come on. There we go. Put you in here. Oh my God. You can see the force I'm using when the character's face is collapsing towards the inside. There you go. Oh my gosh. I have to cover this hole. <laughs> And here it is. There, pull you out. And here's the regular balloon. If you want to put the confetti on the outside, sure, it's a little sticky, but not sticky enough to actually keep them on there. So let's do that here, like so. But again, just be warned that they will come off at some point. So if you do have little ones or pets, you definitely don't want this around them. Just be safe. But again, I like these better than the beads. And we do have the character guide over here. So let's take a quick look to find out their names. Oh, look at that. The lion is the rare one. So Maya, she's pretty cute. And what is our character? Where are you? Betty. I have no idea what Betty is. If anyone has any guesses what character has pointy ears and a fluffy tail. No, wait, it is a fox. I thought it was one poofy tail, but no, the entire thing is the tail. Okay, we're good. It's a fox. I got this Betty the fox. By the way, after a long day, I know that many of you grains like me love to just lay down and browse some funny short form content or maybe just binge watch my content. But regardless, I do love to be in my own little bubble, which is why I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, Raycon. For those of you who don't know Raycon, I am an absolutely huge fan of the Raycon earbuds. I've been using them for so many years now that I do have two pairs. My older pair that I take with me when I travel and my newer pair that I keep at home when I'm watching my own videos or when I go for walks and want to listen to something. And starting at only half the price of other premium audio brands out there, it is no wonder that Raycon is making huge dents in the electronics industry. We get eight hours of playtime, but a total of 32 hours in this cute little charger. And the Bluetooth pairing is absolutely seamless. It just connected immediately. Among many other things that I love about the Raycon earbuds, they do have a noise isolating fit because you get different sizes for different ears. And I do have small ears, so kudos to them for having sizes that actually get included. And yes, there are tap options on the earbuds, so you can switch between different sound options, noise isolation, and even awareness mode for those of you who like to go jogging but still keep your ears open. And there's so many cute colors and patterns for you to choose from to customize it to your own personality. And look, there's nothing dangling, just shaking it, and it really does stay in place. So there's none of that weird dangle stuff going on, which makes it really discreet. And your happiness is really important. That's why Raycon has a 30-day free return policy. And it was co-founded by Ray J, and even celebrities like Brandy are pretty obsessed. So what are you waiting for? Click the link down below or the pinned comment or go to buyraycon.com forward slash nerdycrafter to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. That's buyraycon.com forward slash nerdycrafter for 15% off your Raycon purchase. Thank you, Raycon, for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Next. And it'll be interesting to see if the confetti is different within every character. So let's go ahead and pull that up. Okay, so this is definitely a different character because we have some broccoli head over here. Let's pull. Let's pull. I think it's a different color. I want to say it's a different color, but kitty <coughs> editor, what's your opinion? <coughs> Actually, we have the balloon over here. And the answer is no, it's exactly the same. So we'll keep trying to see if they give us different colors. And who do we have here? Oh my goodness, hello, little baby. Here we have a cute little penguin. Again, they do have those little seats or stands, depending if you want to keep it standing or sitting. And the question is, do they stand on their own? The previous ones did not. So let's check these ones. Guess not, let's try again. No, maybe if we move the foot a little. No, okay. Okay. And this character seems to be a bit of, oh, it's a peacock. Wait a minute, this is a peacock. I was like, why does she have this hairstyle? But it turns out it's a peacock. Wait, wait, this is not a she. The pretty peacocks are the are the boys, right? So I think this is a he. Education time with Jackie. Correct me if I'm wrong, kitty editor. You're going to go ahead and fact 
check me. I think the female peacocks are not the pretty feathered ones. Correct me. I think this is the boy peacock. So he's adorable. Very cute. With a little bow. There's a little party on here. And this character's name is Casey, which works. I mean, there's like Casey Jones from the Ninja Turtles, right? From the first Ninja Turtles. I like that Casey Jones. So Casey is adorable. Let's see what accessories he comes with. And again, we get this weird looking thing again. I guess they want us to really put the balloons up here so we can decorate the cupcakes, which makes this very annoying because all the accessories are exactly the same. They might be different colors, but they're exactly the same. And yes, you can put some of these accessories in their hands because they have this little thing over here. We could put stuff in like so. There you go. And the next bag should have more accessories, which we're going to be confused by. So we have this thing that we can decorate again, the top of the cupcake. And uh, this, a crown for the back of your head? I don't know. I don't know what these accessories are. It would help if the character guides actually showed us what the character is doing with those accessories because it would make it a little bit more interesting. But right now I don't know. I feel like this could be a hat. And then last but not least, we have the balloons. So it looks like the ones with the confetti are again the yellow ones, but we are getting different colors. Here we had blue, now we have orange. All right, Casey, show us what you're gonna do with the balloon. There you go. Oh my God. If anyone tells you this game, this is a toy, it's quiet. It's not quiet. It's very obnoxious. There we go. And we have the confetti on the inside. Listen to that. Fun. I like that. And once they get stuck, they should stop making too much noise. There you go. Most of them have stuck to the edges. Voila, very cute balloon. I'm making a mess for you, okay? Listen, let's see. Same colors, dang nabbit. Here we have more balloons. Looks like we're getting purple as a different color and the confetti's in the pink. Let's take these bags out. They're just confusing. We have an elephant character. Okay, not crazy about this one. Kind of reminds me of toys when I was a little green. I'm not crazy about that one. It's less collectible and more cheap looking. So here's what the character looks like. We have a little tail. We have a little hair, different colors of textures and looks on the ears over here. And here's a close up. There's a little bit of a scuffing happening in the eye over here. This mouth opening is really tiny. I'm really curious if we're going to be able to get in. And again, we have that hole in the, oh, K. <laughs> Let's see that again. Whee! So it looks like the confetti gets a little bit of everywhere. The hands are poseable. Legs also can sit down, but we're gonna keep it standing for now. And this character's name is... Joy. Joy the Ethelant. I just noticed there's Lola the Unicorn. I low key want Lola the Unicorn, but we'll see. First mystery bag in here is going to be, what is that? A hat. Okay. And we have the, what are they called in English? I guess decoration. And look at that the hat is actually made for the character. What? So this doubles up as a fidget toy which I like. Why can't all the accessories be like that, huh? I'm gonna give my final verdict at the edges. Let's just keep going. And the second mystery bag is usually exactly the same kind of items. This one's new though, okay. But they're basically the same things where you have the character hold stuff and it's kind of useless for me at least anyways. And I think my worry is actually true. Let's see if we can get this in the mouth. Oh my goodness. I don't think we, oh my goodness. I don't know if we can. I am putting a lot of force in Joy's mouth. Come on, Joy, you could do it. Gotcha. Oh my, look at this. That's how much force I was putting in. I think there's a design flaw here. And let's get the balloon in. Let's go squeeze. Oh my goodness, this hat's in the way. There we go. And yes, no problem with the confetti. Wait, this is a different color. Yep, so this is the color that we had previously and this is the new color in the balloon. So this one's more yellows, purples, and this is more purples and blues. Okay, next. This one was actually different. We have yellows and oranges. Look at that over here. And it's also a new spot on my desk. I'm just going to accumulate this and wash it, clean it up at the end. But it also looks like we have a new character. Let's pull you out. Oh, you're cute. This is a bunny. Very, very nice. 
And this bunny definitely looks like a rock star. Look at that. We have the two different colors of the ears. We again have the bow and the hair. Very cute little facial kind of painting. We have the bunny ears and we even have a little bit of a strip of color over here. Very, very cute. Love this character. And the name is Mila. Just leaning on a balloon. Look at that. I have glitter and confetti everywhere. Everywhere. I don't want to know where else I'm going to find it later on today. <laughs> At this point, I feel like all the uh, pink ones are basically the hand accessories. So I'm not too interested in them. So we're just going to open it and look real quick. And we have these items over here. And in the yellow one, what do we got? We have more decorations and I'm, what is, what is you? It just seems like a medieval torture device. What is this? I'm guessing this is the top because this is where you can put the balloons and because the cupcake is going upwards this way. So I don't, I, I genuinely don't know. And these are the balloon colors that come with it. If you want to see a compilation of me just making those balloons with the confetti with the characters, I will put that at the end of the video, but let's get through the characters first. first double so we're getting the same little bunny which is again okay but let's move on all right this one seems like a new kit oh is it i think this is a new character It's a new character. So we have a deer type character. Let's get you out of here. I love the colors and the design on this one. So we have sprinklers on the antlers. I'm not sure what the theme, a cohesive theme. Some of them look like rock stars. Others just kind of look like desserts. I'm not sure what's going on. So if anyone else can help me clear this out. And here is what everything else looks like. I love the little pattern on the belly. We have a tiny tail. These two yellows are very different, but it doesn't look too different on this side, but it's definitely different. And here we have have Bonnie as the name. These are the balloon colors. It looks like the confetti's in the pink. And over here, what do we get? Oh, okay, we're just gonna open you. What do we get? Looks like we have a sled of some sort. I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure where these are supposed to go. They're just weird designs. And another decoration. And in here, we're going to have the balloon and hand accessories, which look like this. was already kind of loosened up and open. Let's see our confetti. More purples and blues. Oh no. Oh no. We have another double. So this is a similar character. Let's keep going. Now I think this is a different character. Is that the kitty cat? So we finally got the kitty cat and the name is Stella. Stella the kitty. Very rock star-ish vibes. Let's get all this confetti off you. The colors are extremely fluorescent. It's really hard to look at. Look at all these lights. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Those lights just emanating from the bottom. And this kitty cat definitely gives me like 80s rock star kind of vibe. What's that cartoon called? Gem, I think. Here it is on the screen, I think. The character was like super colorful retro. And we have little stars. Look at the colors on the belly. The hands also move, legs also sit down. I'm curious, do they actually sit? Do you sit? No. Again, let's try. No, absolutely adore this kitty cat. Look at the little tail in the back. The accessories over here. You are weird, weird stuff, man. Is that a TV? A watch? What are you? Who made these things up? You need some explaining to do. Are they supposed to sit in there? No, they, they don't. They don't sit in there. They do not. And of course, we do have this over here. And you are like a saw. And the balloons on the inside look like this. Oh no! We actually have another double- two back-to-back -back kitty cats? What the heck? 
All right, let's let's move on. So far we have one, two, three, four, five, and six different characters, six out of the 13. So there's still quite a bit to collect. We have three more to unbox. No way! This is the T-Rex! Or lizard, or crocodile, I don't know. But this one is adorable. I really wanted this one. Oh my god. I think this is a croc. I definitely think this is a crocodile. What the shrimp? So cute, and even has blush? None of the characters have blush. Barely visible, barely, barely visible. But look at that, so cute. And the one, I think the name was Rex. Yes, this character's name is Rex. You can see why I thought it was a T-Rex, but no, it's a crocodile. Crocodile named Rex. Here are the balloon colors. And in this pink bag, we should be getting all the hand accessories for it to hold and blow up the balloon, like I saw. They're honestly not even that interesting, so I don't even know why they put them in there. And even less interesting is the actual mystery bag of accessories that come with the characters. I still don't understand it. Okay, we have a boat. Clearly this is a boat. I understand this. And then we have a decoration for the cupcake. But what do we do? Do I just, do I do this? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm so happy we got this character. Super cute. I love the pattern on here and the back colors and the little scale details, really adorable. Well, this didn't go as expected. And let's see, who do we have? This looks like, oh, not the monkey. We have a monkey character. I can't stand monkey characters. Oh my goodness. There's something about them. Why do they make them look like clowns? I don't know. There's something about monkey designs that are just not cute or interesting for me. And this one definitely looks like a jester. Look at that. There's the legs and it has like this little jester vibe going on here. Not crazy about the hair or the bow, but here it is. Ready to make a balloon. I really hate this character. Here are the balloons and its name is Zoe. And the character accessories are, let's pull you out, a tree, I guess. You can blow the balloons and put them on the tree and a decoration for your cupcake. And then the hand accessories that you can give the character are over here. They're really nothing special. I think these are absolutely a waste of plastic, but this is what they look like. And the thing to blow the balloon. And here is our last one to unbox, which means we only have one more try to get the character that we want. For me, I'd love to see Lola, or of course the rare character, Maya. I mean, I did pay almost $200, can I get something good? So let's put our hands together and pray to the bubbly loons gods. Dear bubbly loons gods of Evermore, please protect me from doubles, monkeys, and awkward accessories. But also, just give me a cutie. This here's the moment of truth. Okay, you ready? Let's check. And... No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I specifically said don't give me a triple! We got this same character. Not twice, but thrice. So, um... You wanna watch some balloons being blown? <laughs> I have to say, I am not a fan. My entire desk is an absolute mess. Sure, if you want to do it at $6.99 just for funsies, go for it. But at $10, the mess, the experience, the accessories, everything just doesn't seem to work together to create an awesome experience. So I'm going to give these bubbly yoons not a 4, as it says on Amazon, but probably closer to a 0 0.7 on 5. If you want to watch more unboxings, make sure you check up here. If you want to catch a different kind of video, something crafty, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you grades in the next video.